would you like to see the Emerald Isle landscape of Northern Ireland transform into fire and ice? If you're a Game of Thrones fan, I'm guessing that's quite likely. And it could be soon possible, after HBO announced plans to open up its filming locations to the public. HBO, of course, owned by Warner Media, which is the parent company of this network. And it all could give a massive boost to tourism in Northern Ireland. Even though playing up to Games of Thrones can in itself be a game just games, at least depending on who you ask. Now, bear in mind, I've never actually seen one edition of Games of Thrones. I'm the only person probably in the world who can, can, has to admit to that. But the city of Dubrovnik in Croatia has been flooded with tourists. And why? It's to where the point that UNESCO's warning its World Heritage status could be at risk. Games of Thrones filming there has created an amazing amount of tourism. The trigger fans that are coming along to a worrying extent. And it's not the only place. Take the Breaking Bad house in New Mexico that's had to put up a fence to stop people throwing pizza on it. If you've seen the show, you'll understand why it all happens. Now, one man who sees all of this firsthand, there's the pizza and there's the house. One man who understands this all firsthand is the mayor of Dubrovnik, Mato Frankovic, who joins me now from the city. Good to see you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for joining us. Um, the the reality is, Game of Thrones has brought great publicity and large numbers of people, so why are you complaining? First of all, uh, thank you for invitation. Uh, we are not complaining, actually. Uh, we are very proud of our city, we are very proud of our tourism, uh, but we think that we actually need to take a bit of break uh, in uh, releasing and slowing down the number of the tourists that are coming in the same time uh, to Dubrovnik. Why is that? Uh, it's not just because of the citizens, of course, it's uh, because we want to provide uh, the high quality to all of the tourists. Uh, a lot of them are coming to Dubrovnik. Some of them are coming, of course, because of the Game of Thrones, but mainly they are coming because of the beauty that this city really uh, has. And uh, uh, it is a really ancient city uh, with a rich history. And we want uh, for all of our tourists uh, really to have uh, a great right. quality of destination. Now, the, uh, you, write, you raise a good point, but all of this was eminently foreseeable. I remember going to Dubrovnik, it must be, what, 10, 12 years ago, uh, and even then you could see that you were going to be the victim of your own success, particularly when cruise ships arrive, which disgorge huge numbers of people, completely overtaking your beautiful town and town squares. How can you prevent it? Yes, it's correct. Uh, actually, what we did last year, uh, we actually approached uh, to CLIA, the board uh, organization of cruise ship companies, and we said, listen, guys, we have a problem, and we need to solve that problem as soon as possible, because uh, we have a lot of tourists coming in the city with the cruise ships at the same time. And this is a problem. So what we actually did for the first year, this year, uh, 2018, we spread uh, the number of arrivals. Uh, we have some of the ships that are coming in the morning time, some, some of them are coming in the afternoon times, and by doing that, we already uh, slowed down the number of immediate uh, guests in the old city. For the next year, we have a new approach, and this is the limitation of maximum of the cruise ships, right. two cruise ships in the same time in the old city. The reality is you've got too many people coming. The streets are crowded. The experience is starting to become unpleasant. That's a real worry for you. It, it was a real worry uh, if we didn't have a key to success, how to overcome with this. But I'm sure that we already did the great things in 2018, and you will see in 2019, Dubrovnik will be mentioned uh, in all medias as a city of sustainable tourism. Uh, we need to, over, uh, to cut some things uh, down. Uh, we actually lose some money because of that, but we were ready because, uh, to do that in order to gain the future success of uh, Dubrovnik. Uh, tourism. We want all of the tourists to come to Dubrovnik, well, but we need to uh, give them an information what is the best time of arrival. We have now uh, Dubrovnik visitor right. system, the web page uh, with the forecast 
of what is the best time to come to Dubrovnik. And when we come next time, sir, we'll be doing Queswin's business from Dubrovnik, and we look forward to having you live and joining us at the show at some point. Thank you, sir. Good to talk to you tonight from uh, Dubrovnik. The Thank mayor you, Bert. Of Dubrovnik. Now, the